Hi guys, I'm Daniel and this is Dan's Tech World. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at the new EE Home Hub Smart Router, whatever it's called. Uh, I actually don't know. I think it's called the EE Smart Hub. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, the EE Smart Hub is it's going to be known now is, is what I'm looking at today. It's supposed to be EE's uh, revision of their original uh, router modem wi-fi combo -y thing the isp provided one you get in the box what i have noticed is there is not many reviews videos or anything of sorts on the internet there is only the promotional pictures that ee show you there's nothing to scale to scale or anything that shows exactly what the router does uh, However, I can't set the thing up in this video due to the fact that my internet isn't actually live yet. I have changed uh, my complete package up to 300 megabit and unfortunately it doesn't go live for another about four days. So excuse me if this video out is actually pretty late. I am waiting on Wi-Fi. Uh, but yeah, th this guy is, is supposed to be doing its job pretty well, but we'll see what happens. I will report back in about a month's time as well uh, after I've unboxed this. Um, basically to say whether or not i go with the new router and stick with it or go back to its older brethren but anyway guys i think we should get on with the video and change to the angle where we uh, top down behind me and we show what the router looks like so i will see you there okay guys so today we have a new video as you can see right in front of me is the ee smart hub now basically I have um, got a new package with my uh, internet provider EE here and uh, basically um, they sent out their new hub. This literally arrived today in the mail um, but this guy is supposed to be a hell of a lot better. Now I am currently using their uh, Brightbox 2. They have the Brightbox 1 which is the original, the Brightbox 2 which is the second edition and this which is the smart hub. Basically, the Smart Hub is a rip-off or a rebadged version of the BT Home Hub. Uh, seen as though they are pretty much run off the same lines, uh, same server, same everything. Um, but I basically am doing this video today because I haven't seen uh, many videos or pictures even of this guy online apart from the ones that EA show you on the website. So, let's open the box which is oh by the way i should just mention the uh, if you've noticed this is the box and um, this isn't like an internal box of a box this is just how it comes it just comes around with a slip around it in the mail uh, and basically yeah they've gone sort of polar bear friendly so to speak and it's just black biodegradable ink on this kind of uh recycled cardboard stuff so props to you ee for saving the polar bears Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, and so right away we are presented with the router right there. You can just about see it. Um, and it says lift here, so we will lift. And this brings out the other side of the box to reveal all our goodies. So let's have a look what we have in the box. We have the UK plug right here. Um, so actually I'm just gonna brighten that up a bit. So we have the UK plug right here. This is a uh, three pin thing. Um, we'll explain why there's no back to it in a minute. Um, but that's in there. We have a really, really cheap uh, bog basic micro filter. So this is what uh, transfers, well, transforms your standard BT, ho your standard BT socket into uh, both ADSL and again, uh, back out to a BT socket so you get phone line and internet basically so that's all that does um, but they, they throw you one in the box I mean pretty much uh, it's, a, it's a standard thing these are really cheap to make but thank you for thank you for including it next up we have a really really nice quality uh, ADSL cable uh, or DSL cable um, so this is your modem cable so to speak but yeah actually kind of decent feeling looks kind of long to actually know how long it is it probably says no 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 it just it just doesn't say thanks for that but yeah it looks to be a either a meter or two meters and um, next up we have an ethernet cable 
which uh, is a lot better quality than they used to be. Uh, the quality of cables that they used to give you was pretty terrible. This one looks to be semi-reasonable, so to speak. Uh, nice quality yellow uh, ends on them. Cable is relatively thick for a cable that, the, again, the ISP provide you. Normally they provide you with literally the most terrible one. The one that came with my Brightbox 2 uh, is literally just about Cat5. I'm surprised it even gets through those regulations. So, next up in the box is we have the 12 volt power adapter. This is 12 volt, 2 amp. I do know that. But their old router, the Brightbox 2, was 12 volts, 1.5 amp. So, this is a slight bit more powerful. And we'll get on to uh, why this is more powerful in a moment. By the way, that plug, if I remember, I believe it goes on this way. That's what that does. Don't know why it transforms because E is a, uh, is a British company. Or oh, they, they, uh, they don't really need an EU or American adapter, so I'm guessing this is just a router that's rebranded re around the entire world. But here we go, this is the router. This is E's reskinned BT Home Hub with these feet. People seem to like these feet. I personally do not. Um, I don't like these new router modem combo thingies uh, purely for the fact that really the <laughs> For people that want to wall mount these things out of the way and slightly higher up a wall uh, who are just literally using them as a modem router and the inbuilt Wi-Fi, you can't mount them on the wall like you could some older versions, I believe the original Brightbox you could, but you can't mount this to a wall. Uh, I know it's all thin and stuff, but some people might actually want to put this on a wall out of the way just doing its internet jobs and they don't provide you with any like mounting points at the back. Uh, and um, the ports are on the back so they stick out so you'd have to put this on a, sh a shelf or something. Uh, the feet are kind of cool how they just uh, pop out like that but they, 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 you can't close them so unless you're storing this in the original box it came in which not everyone does uh, when these things get thrown in a drawer inevitably uh, they're just it's just going to annoying and they're just going to get broken off relatively easily. Uh, something that I do like, they have now made this removable. Um, so this is the little card with all your details on. Um, I should have probably taped over that, but more work for me. I'll put my finger on it. By the way, the name and password will be changed, so that doesn't matter. Um, so no one will be getting into my internets anyway, because this will just be doing the job of the modem. The uh, router is on a completely separate level of things. Anyway, back to this. So down here, we have... Uh, out of focusness. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to move the camera down to a point where we can see the light. So uh, let's do a quick camera change. Okay, we're back down at a level I can deal with now. Um, we're going to just shift the box out of the way. Oh yeah, there's some information in there that you don't really need to know about. Um, is there a way to... to no? No? Okay. Uh, so basically, on the back of here, we have your modem port the one going focus so we have the modem port right there so this is uh for your broadband so this is your rj11 socket right there so that's where your internet comes in from the micro filter oh if you've got a master socket next we have a usb port uh that won't go in focus whatsoever uh so right here is a usb port now what do I not like about this USB port, apart from it won't go in focus, there we go, manually, uh, USB. So this doesn't seem to be USB 3, which I find kind of mad, because uh, there are quite a few routers now that this is now a USB 3 port, it's really not that much more difficult to make this USB 3, and not really that much more expensive either. So thanks EE for being even more cheapskates. One thing I will let you off on is finally these four ports on the back are all gigabit. It used to just be port number four that was gigabit ethernet and the rest were 10100. I know this because um, my other router had to make sure that um, going out of, out of here was uh, gigabit. Um, out of the fourth port because that's the only one that's gigabit and I will show you like later on I will go and grab the old one uh, Then we have the factory reset uh, hole there where you stick a pin in and all that jazz and then you have the power port and a momentary sort of semi momentary switch it does sort of go in but not that much oh i forgot to mention that port 4 by the way if you can read that get it in focus port 4 right there is also the wan port so 
if you decide to not use this as a modem and just as a router if you decide this uh, to, to use this just as a modem and not a router then you are free to do so uh, it does sit nice on a unit it does it does look pretty nice I will give um, but yeah by the way this has pretty solid solid uh, Wi-Fi capabilities which we're gonna get into now so uh, in fact let's just uh, pan up uh, to my screen here of my Mac and we will go and have a look at the, the uh, the specs of this guy because i believe it has some pretty solid ac wi-fi performance so uh, let's get over to that magical screen on ee's website okay here we are at the ee page let's see if we can get this focused for you so here we are the smart hub router twice as powerful for a stronger wi-fi signal around your home so i'm going to scroll all the way down to the settings that i know uh, are pretty much it, it needed for me so this is what's good uh so we have auto sensing adsl 2 plus and vdsl 2 modem uh this is for e broadband only but it, it's it's very clever um dual band wi-fi with next generation 802.11 ac wave 2 wave 2 is what's the the, the most important part of this in fact i'm just going to zoom in a little bit on here so you can see these specs a little bit closer up so yeah, it's wave two, not wave one. So wave one is what's in the original, well, the, the second generation of the E router, which is the, the hub that's in there. Um, but yeah, basically the AC Wi-Fi in this is supposed to be a lot better. Not a chance to check yet because my new E broadband isn't isn't set up yet because they have to set it up with the new box. It's complicated, thanks EE, but hey, we'll get over it. Anyway. Wi-Fi bands at maximum speed. So this is the bit that's interesting. So we have 2.4 gigahertz, three by three. For people that don't know that, uh, I'm slightly tempted to do a video on what three by three is and two by two and one by two and all that jazz. But anyway, three by three, 802.11b, G, N, and AC up to 290 me uh, 90 megabit per second, which is pretty solid. It's around the 300 range, which is what all this does. It's because they've tapped on AC on now and the 2.4 gigahertz band drops that down a little bit but anyway they've got all your backwards compatibility all the way back to b which is great because uh, it means that means the old stuff it still runs on this next they have the five gigahertz band which is a four by four which is great um which means that's how many antennas and stuff it's anyway four by four 802.11 a n a c up to 1700 megabit that's pretty solid for a router that uh, an ISP provide you. We're in the age of 4K. It's sort of needed for 4K to run at this. This is kind of at the point where it's sort of needed. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that they've included that because for people that do not know, um, who have not watched that, who have not watched that vlog, I am the owner of an iPhone 10. So this also has AC Wi-Fi uh, Wave 2. So I can take full uh, availability of that so that will be fun so again we have back to the four rj45 or ethernet gigabit ethernet ports one rj11 broadband port one usb 2.0 port like i said not usb 3.0 which is a bit bad wpps push button configuration never use that it's dangerous it's out it's it's just the worst way to ever connect to something it should be just banned and never used it's the worst kind of security ever just connecting it openly uh, and also smart wireless so it does auto sense in about what a device should be on if you choose it to uh, so yeah we have the but the power adapter has a three meter cable by the way forgot to mention that really long cable thank you ee because ee have actually realized that a lot of the times weirdly enough the phone socket in a house uh, because of how uk houses are built the phone socket is never near a bloody power socket because phones used to be powered by the by bt by the phone line so there was never a need for a plug socket next to the phone socket so they've put a long 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 cable on it uh, so you can actually get to a socket which is great thank you for that also they have the uh, the LAN cable which is of course your ethernet cable here they don't say whether it's cat5 or cat6 i presume it's cat5e to be honest um Cat 6 I'm very very doubtful because it's mostly just an emergency you would probably go and buy a better one than the one that's included um, then you have 
The broadband cable, which they don't say, but it's that ADSL2 cable, the broadband filter. So the micro filter for the phone line if required. Again, I require it because it's just a, a, a phone socket in my house. I don't have a BT uh, box with the separate ADSL and um, phone jack on it. But yeah, basically this is stacking up to be a pretty, pretty solid router. Um, I'm gonna get back to, to showing you the router now, but I'm also gonna go grab the uh, other one out of the, 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 the server company place. So I'm gonna go and grab the other router and I'll be back with you in a minute. So here we are, this is with Gen, uh, the, the most recent EE uh, router. Without the, the stand, the stand is still screwed into the cupboard. I made a ghetto mount so I could actually store this in there. It is a bit scratched up. You can see the scratches and all that jazz, but it has been banged about over over its couple of years of service. And then this is the new fancy looking one. It does look a lot more modern. It is a little bit bigger as well, so we'll stack them like that so you can see a little bit chunkier as well as you can as you can see there um so yeah there is a, a little bit of thickness difference the back is where things change but we can see here the old one has uh modem port uh 10 100 10 100 10 100 gigabit there are all your ethernet ports the wan port was separate whilst it no longer is separate i wondered what the difference was but yeah you can see things are a little bit more spaced out as well uh, as the hub is a little bit wider as well so they've separated stuff out quite a bit in fact separated it out a lot more than i would think oh yeah that's because the usb port is uh, on the side on the old one which was in a bit of a stupid place because i've smacked a couple off on there um but yeah, uh, you couldn't take the card out with this one, so it's just kind of stuck there. The WPS button is on the top on the old one. The, light, the lights I actually prefer on this one because you do get separate ones for your power broadband, internet wireless, and intelligent wireless. So it did actually tell you directly on the front of the damn thing rather than what the new one does, which is just flash different colours and in different codes. It's like reading bloody Morse code. So I'm already going to give up with that idea of, of, of doing that. But yeah, the USB port is now on the back. You only get four Ethernet ports, and your fourth one is taken up by your WAN. Um, the WPS button is there. It's a slightly more tactile button, but still, still terrible and still never use it. But the difference in these routers is, is pretty different, actually. Quite starking. This, this, oh yeah, this was AC Wi-Fi as well, but I never use this. Uh, I use a completely separate ask, access point for my house just because of the placement of this damn thing uh, i'm gonna have to build a shelf now for this thing to sit on because it does sit up high in the server cupboard but basically yeah this these are these are pretty pretty different looking routers um and obviously the new one does look a lot more modern uh, they do still give you this if you get one of their cheaper uh, Wi-Fi, uh, one of their cheaper uh, packages with their internet, so if you just buy their basic broadband, they do still give you this one, but if you buy like the Fiber or the Max Fiber or any of the other fibers, then you do indeed get the uh, the new version right here, which is the one, of course, that I got because I've got the maxed out speed I can get in my area. For people not knowing what the max speed in my area is, it's about 300 uh, megabits per second down. Um, so, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. So I'm going to definitely test this thing to the max. We'll do a comparison right here of the size. So we'll put that down. And for people that have seen an iPhone 10, that's an iPhone 10 there. So, yeah, one, two three three and a half iphone tens width apart yeah very scientific i know uh ikea plant very big next to an ikea plant um not really anything else i can really honestly com to compare to but um yeah it's it's a it's a sizable router to say the least but it, it's also probably going to be a great one but again i will talk to you more about when i've had it up and running for a while a month into its life doing its job and we'll see whether or not i do end up changing back to this guy uh, but yeah anyway for now i'm just going to spin the camera around and we're going to do the outro -y bit of this video so 
Okay guys, so this is where I have to end up the video here. This guy is a solid, solid router. I like it very much apart from the stupid little feet, but I can get past that. It's a very, very handsome device. It would sit nicely on a unit downstairs, but mine isn't. It's gonna be shut away in a cupboard because that's where my router lives. Uh, the server room behind me does need a sort out. I know there will be another networking series soon to show you the changes uh, as well as the things that have gone wrong. Um, but yeah, I think this thing is going to do a solid, solid job. We'll see in about a month's time whether or not I go back to its older sibling behind me. But I will keep you updated on what is happening with this guy and if I do have any problems. Right now, my internet isn't uh, uh, hasn't gone live, so I can't tell you anything. They have changed over the complete another package, so things have been shut off. Uh, it will be coming back soon, but for now... That's pretty much all I can say about the new EE Smart Hub. So this is where I have to finish up, guys. It's a great router. It comes free. It's ISP for provided and still actually is pretty decent. But that's where I can stop for now. That's all I can really say until I've actually had a chance to test this thing out. So this is where I finish up the video for you guys. So of course, if you have liked the video, guys, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, guys, then you know where that button is. But if you did hit the dislike button, guys, please tell me down in the comment section below why you dislike the video. Also, if your comments are more, well, if your comments are less thumbs up or thumbs down, please tell me down in the comment section below. Also, while you're in the comment section, please, of course, ask any comments, questions, ideas, anything that you have about the channel, about myself, about the new e Home Hub, or anything you just want to hear in general or just want to chat down below, then you can do that. Also, while you're at the bottom half of this video, please, of course, head to the description where you will find links to the camera that I use as well as maybe to the EE's page to go and check out their new Home Hub and the Wi-Fi and deals and broadband that they actually are offering. Anyway, guys, I've been Daniel. This has been Dan's Tech World. I hope you've liked this review, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.